So today I decided that I was going to introduce something new to Lego and let him sniff it first. Do you think that that task was accomplished? To prepare him for that, I wanted to do some more desensitizing with him. So I started with the rope, which we've worked on a little bit before this, but not much. Um, just moving it all around on his left side and swinging it over his neck. Um, and just kind of letting him know that the rope is okay. It's no longer a threat since he was roped and laid down forcefully in his previous home. It's definitely a, a point of tension for him. So I definitely make sure I show it to him and let him know that it's okay. Um, so here I'm doing this stuff now on the right side and throwing it over. You can see on the right side, I can be a little bit more, um, I guess you could say aggressive with it, but not really. Um, I can just kind of desensitize him a little bit more. And here I'm actually hitting the ground and then bringing it back up. And he's responding really well to that and letting me throw it over his back um, and being really good. So there, I just released the pressure, praised him. This horse is all about positive reinforcement, whether it be releasing pressure or treat. Um, as you can see, I'm constantly talking to him just to let him know that he's being really good and then uh, rewarding him. So then here I introduce the saddle pad again, but this time I'm holding it. Um, and just reassuring him that everything's okay. I'm not here to hurt him. Nothing I have is going to hurt him. Just trying to keep it all positive. And I just kind of show it to him and then rub him with it. Um, starting on his right side since that's his, his better, his more preferred side when he's being good again. I release the pressure. I uh, show it to him again. Go back to rubbing him. As you can see, he's a little unsure but just constantly reassuring him. I did that a good bit more, but for time purposes, I uh, kind of had to edit a good bit of this video. So then now I'm just going to the left side. As you can see, he's kind of turning his head towards me. He likes to push me off of his left side and onto his right side, but he's being good. He's letting me touch his neck with the pad. So I gave him a um, reward and release there. And then he was trying to push me off again. So I just stepped him up and uh, gave him some more reassurance, started really lightly, just showing it to him, rubbing his face, moving down his neck with the pad. As you can see, there's a big difference here between his left and his right side. So then did more on the left side, but again, time purposes, um, I cut some of that out, but went back to the right side and this time I opened the pad up. And as you can see, it's kind of touching him in different spots, including his leg. So he was a little jumpy there and a little bit more tense to begin with. But again, really taking well to this. Um, so another release of pressure. Always positive reinforcement with this guy. I'm constantly telling him he's good. I'm constantly rubbing him, just rewarding him again with either a pressure release or, or a treat. Oh, got a little scared there uh, as you can see the cat in the background um, they're helping me with the desensitizing as well so then just rubbing it on him working my way back to see what he can handle and although tense he's actually um, just very alert and listening um, so I continue on just kind of again desensitizing him. Today was super windy and cold. So why I pick windy days to do this kind of stuff, I'll never know. But the pad kept going up like to his neck and you can actually kind of see it trying to come over there a little bit, but it flips back and that was, that was bothering him. And then when it would flip over to his left side, that was also concerning to him. So just kind of worked on that a good bit and then released the pressure of the pad but continued with positive reinforcement there. Brought the pad back and just slowly put it on, knowing that when it hit his left side, he was gonna be more worried and more tense. So 
So just kind of slowly flipping it down. Again, the wind was not working in my favor here. So just taking little baby steps, which is exactly what he needs, slow and steady. So here he actually, you can see he let me put it on. And yes, it's way up his neck. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's on. It's on both sides. It's touching him. He feels the pressure of the pad on his neck. Um, and now he kind of feels me just rub it in, trying to relax him, let him figure it out, let him know it's not hurting him, even though it's sitting on him and it might feel weird. And the pressure's in a different spot now. Uh, just lots of positive reinforcement for him. Letting him adjust to it being there, but also keeping me close, um, kind of as like a security blanket for him. And rubbing on him, he really loves to be rubbed, especially on his chest and his neck. So then there, I just took it off, told him what a good boy he was, and uh, rewarded him with lots of pats, lovings, and treats. And then I actually took it off and put it back on uh, to get this picture. So he did really super well, and I'm super happy with him.